Hello, welcome back to our channel. Today we are doing something a little bit different. We are at the Milwaukee RV Show here at the State Fair Park. We don't know what we're getting into here at all. We're gonna look at some RVs and campers. Today it is me, Leela, Gavin, and Emily. We'll see you inside. Vans and RVs. Wow. Wow. So the plan here is we'll show you bits and pieces of our trailers and campers that we look at. And then at the end, we'll go over our favorites and why they're our favorites and such. But this is the big camper expo here. I want them all. I am particularly interested in these toy haulers for our go-karts, you know. Yeah, we'll show you what we can. So I'm kind of liking this one. We got our bed back here. Storage. A bed there. Oh yeah. So one thing we like to look at in these trailers is the bathroom because the shower needs to be big enough. And obviously this one's big enough for both me and Leela. It won't ever go that way, but it's big enough. And then over here, man, you got your fireplace down there. A little bit of counter space there. Recliners. But the problem I am seeing with this one is that there is not enough space for us to sleep. I saw one bed, one bed. And even if, even if this folded into a bed, that's not enough. We need five spots at least. So this one, though fancy, would be a no for us. Not that we're buying anything, but this one would be a no. I would just stick the TV in this couch. All right, so in this one, we obviously come right into the bed. The master bedroom. You got your tight squeeze. Tight squeeze. Shower, plenty big for me. And bathroom, it obviously closes off. But, once again, not enough sleeping spots. That probably folds out. Yep, that's one, two. We would need three. But when three. it's more than a skinny little bed, two kids can share a bed. Okay, all right, that might be good enough. I don't know. Although it may work, it's not on my favorite, favorite list. Leela likes every camper we've seen so far. Except for the one that doesn't have the ladder on the bunk bed. Storage space. Yeah, boy. And we walk upstairs. I oh, wow. Already, I can already tell it's big enough for you. And in here. Oh, wow. We continue down. We got a bed here. A bed here. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Even more beds. Oh, man. Yes. Two beds. A Three futon. Beds. Three beds. Oh my goodness, Leela. <laughs> this one's huge. I know. Let's get this one. This is what you call a fifth wheel camper, though. Nice. You need a different this. truck altogether to pull it. Oh. Yeah. All right, moving on. But I want to get this. Oh. Another bathroom. Oh wow. So this one here would be perfect for us because it's got the master bed with doors on each side. I say we get this. Giant TV or large TV. We got a bed with a table here. A complete kitchen with a really big fridge. Two bunk beds. And this isn't only a shower. It's a tub and it's it's big enough for sure. I think this is a nice camper. How about you, Leela? Me too. Yeah. Plus, it even has a bunk bed. Yeah. I say I get the top. Chip a chip a chip a chip. Alright. This is definitely this is the biggest master bedroom we've seen so far. It's There's so huge. much room to dance. Just dance. The house now is if we got this one, this would be our room B thing. Children's suite. We have a couch, a couch, couch. And then we have a bunk, which is two halves, another bunk, and a top bunk. But this is my second favorite. And there's so much storage. 
Yeah. And a, a bathroom. There's two bathrooms here. This one is just a half bath, but it goes outside. My favorite kind of bathroom. Oh, and a complete entertainment center outside. There is those roasted nuts that smell so good and I want them, but I'm eating keto and they are coated in sugar. <sighs> I'm so hungry. But anyway, RVs, it's time for a potty break. So here we are, waiting for dad to get out of the bathroom, looking at the RVs. He's asleep. Lila's drinking Sprite. It's actually blue Gatorade. Uh, it's not though. Yes it is. Oh, okay, except it's clear. So we're about halfway through now. Ain't that right, Lila? Uh-huh. And oh. I found my best choice already. I'm probably gonna write something else down on my arm, but here is the number for my thing. So she thinks she has her favorite chosen. I think I have my favorite chosen too, but we are only halfway through and we've been here for almost three hours. So hopefully we can make it all the way through and hopefully we can go back and give tours of our favorites, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. I got my nuts. Yum. This is a nice pop-up. It's larger than I thought pop-ups were. Big if Look at that! Four Whoa! What's that? You want a curtain that goes up around there? Yeah. Nice little bathroom in here. But what if you want privacy? Curtain. Bad. 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 Bed. And bad. Look at Many all this. We definitely make this work. It's pretty cool. Definitely. The cheapest out of everything we've seen. Some reason I don't like kind of. So over here, you got your park models, mobile homes, if you will. Not a fan. We want something we can travel with. This is not that. I want a toy hauler so I can bring our go karts with us. So now we're actually about halfway through. Next up is motor homes. Oh, we gotta go this way, Emily, because Leela is in this house. Let's see if we can find her. I think I see her. No, I was just a creep. Look at this thing. Holy cow. Jeez. We got a bunk bed right there. Bed back there. Couch, table. Oh man, this thing is huge. Oh yeah. Oh man, this thing. Oh, I wouldn't need a house if I had this. Besides, if you wanted a pool. We'd get a blow up pool and just put it outside. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get Let's, out. let's, get fireplace, huge bedroom, huge bathroom for a camper. Holy cow. Does it have, nope. The last one I looked at had a washer and a dryer. But there were a lot of people in there, so I didn't even look or show you. My turn as driver. So the thing I'm noticing about motorhomes, they don't really facilitate a family. Not at all. I mean, I wouldn't want one anyway, but I thought they would be a little more equipped. Though they're cool and big and fun looking, definitely not something we want to get at all, right? But we're running out of time. It's so not a favorite, but an ideal layout we got here. Yeah. With the two bunk beds, that folds into a bed, that turns into a bed. Then mine and Emily's room over here. Plenty of room in here. No TV though. Oh, you can mount one? Yeah, they label where you can... Oh, nice. Yeah, this is a very nice camper. I like the ones that have enough beds in addition to the table. Yep, this would be that additional bed. Because yes, converting a table, converting a table is stupid. Not gonna lie. All right, are we gonna move on? Yeah. Yeah, we've made it through all the basic campers here. Oh boy, right here. 
this toy hauler. It have to be my favorite. As you walk in, that was the ramp, which is a patio. Two beds, couches, whatever right here. You got your bunk bed that slides down. A loft bed right there. Large couch. Mmm, the kitchen. Pretty big bathroom. Very spacious. Master. And this island has these seats that pop out. Frickin' sweet. Then you got a bathroom back here too. And it looks like right here, <laughs> we have a washer and a dryer hookup. I like them when they have these doors between the garage and the rest. But this thing, this thing is ideal, is what it is. High ceilings, big TVs, pantry. Mmm. Mmm. But that's my favorite, that's just me. My only problem with it is that it's a fifth wheel and it weighs a ton. That's all right. Someday, maybe. Someday. Now we're gonna go find Leela's favorite. I kind of remember where it was. We'll find it. So, this is 294GE. The Cherokee. Start off with the master bedroom. Master bedroom. Coming in from the outside, you walk into the bathroom. Here's the master. Keep up with the Leela. And then, that's the other entrance to the bathroom. Then we have this huge thing. That, and we're in a huge kitchen, too. And we have a light-up stove. These beautiful plates, which I don't think it comes with. A window to the wilderness. Bunk bed on the floor. Abby will probably use that one. She's and some storage for clothes. Mm. And then you got this bunk bed up here. And the loft that's up here. Nice. Wait, there's a loft up there? Pull out ladder. Okay, I'm definitely going to sleep at this loft. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And then, of course, this would turn into a bed. This goes into a bed. Yeah, even though this is, this is expensive, I really, 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 really want it. So, that's your favorite? Mm-hmm. Anything else to say about it? I like it. No, but I do really want it. Even though it's... I just want it. So that was today's adventure. I mean, obviously we're not on the market for a camper right now, but it is nice to look around and find out exactly what we are going to want when we do get around to getting a camper. I, I love the fifth wheels. They're freaking sweet, but probably not going to happen. That requires a lot of truck. It wouldn't be a pop-up either because no privacy and canvas that rips and very limited to like summertime use. Other than that, you know, it was a fun day. We had a lot of fun. Ain't that right, Leela? Right? I had fun. Campers had fun. are cool. We'll get a cool one someday. I got some nuts. <laughs> so yeah, that was a little bit of a different video, but it was an adventure we had. So, with all that said... Thanks for watching and have a Johnson-ish day. Johnson-ish day indeed. Here we go. This is the one we're living in. Look, Layla, there's your bunk bed. Up there. Here's my bed. This is where I'll make my dinners. Basically a hard-sided tent. Yep. It's so... It's all right. But there's more available. I'm just kidding. We would never get anything like this. It's trash.